It's time to hunt. Welcome to time to hunt. crazy how excited the dogs get when they haven't been out for a bit. They're just like headless bloody chickens. For spring November weather, there's bloody fresh snow on the car wickers last night. That's why the truck's saying it's now 7 degrees. This is crazy. stop just chilly really chilly but beautiful because there's no wind today so we're probably only another 20 minutes half hour and we'll be at camp and a cuppa 20 minutes forward. half an hour <laughs> yeah <laughs> <Yep. laughs> maybe 40 break out of the bush in a minute and we'll pull out the guide thermal and just have a nosy it's a perfect still day could be something out poking around about lunchtime This is the southerly face, and if I was a deer, I wouldn't want to be on it either. This is crazy. We've now got the faintest of snow showers, a little bit of hail. It's not quite sure what it's trying to do. Psst. Hello. It's trying to snow back there. Yeah. The third of November. First deer of the trip, about 1700 yards, it's feeding fairly steadily on the move and now it's gone over the brow, I can't see it but I'll keep looking, it's a good sign. So guys we've got the guide in full action, over 1500 yards and we've found a deer out on the face which is way over there we've never had a handheld thermal that can reach that far before that's amazing and you wouldn't pick that deer up with your binoculars because it's too sort of dark and dingy even though it's only sort of half past five in the afternoon and it's trying to snow so there you go freaking wicked well it's actually too cold to stay out here now it's zero degrees Emma's weather app was saying that it's going to drop to minus 5 overnight. It's trying really hard to snow. I'd say up on the main Kawika range she's snowing right now. Unbelievable weather really. It's good to see deer out so I think we'll put on our best gear in the morning, put our best foot forward and go and see if we can knock something over for the freezer tomorrow morning if it's not all clagged out. Wait and see. Oh yes. Well, now it's sleeting. <laughs> crazy, crazy weather for November. 
and we've had oh, down in the bay I think it was like 26 27 degrees <laughs> Spikers and hard antler at about 860 yards over here. One's a real wonky, ugly looking thing. So that's potential meat deer for us. I'm just waiting for a little red to catch up and we'll uh, see if we can close the distance. Alright, so that's the first, first shots fired this morning. That was 440 yards. We dialed in. It was a bit of a breeze, but with the glare on the um, phone scope, I can't tell if it went over or under. So that's one safe seeker. We'll go and find some more, have another crack. That's a couple more, that's 750, and kind of on the move, they're not really hanging around feeding, so we're going to keep heading north and try and find something a bit closer. Almost like 
lunchtime. Our luck hasn't run our way this morning, so we're going to head back to camp. We'll probably have an afternoon siesta and um, start again this evening. It'd be so good to take some meat home rather than empty handed. We will keep trying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's just turning into one of those trips. I snuck around to this face. Wind was all wrong. And I don't know where these deer come from, but they're above me. There's no cover here. Two ran out. I tried to have a crack. Nah. <laughs> and then uh, another one come across. I tried to have a crack at that. Nah. <laughs> Jeez. It's just not meant to. It's not my day. This is not meant to be today. <sighs> anyway, that's seeker hunting. You don't always win. <sighs> Thank you.
Well, it's mornings like this. This is why seeker deer survive and do so well up in this country because hunters like me can't get them. <laughs> when the weather gods don't turn it on, uh, the, the, all the odds are in the deer's favour, basically. So today it's blowing, it's clagged, it's cold. They just hunker down in the scrub. Bloody hard to find. Hence I'm not lacing up the boots and racing out the door. We had our chances and that was the first morning and it didn't roll our way. It is what it is. But uh, we've, we've achieved a bit. You've got to use backcountry huts just to keep them up to, up to the scratch I suppose. We've um, filled up the wood supply. That should be set for next autumn so time to go home and uh, do some fishing for the summer. Let the stags grow a bit. Come back late February, early March. Uh, the other feature I, I want to talk about quickly about the guide that's impressed us no end this trip. We've been up here for two nights so I've given it a bloody good thrashing for the last two or three days and we haven't even used half the battery yet so it's very economic on its two batteries that are rechargeable so that's something worth thinking about on bigger longer extended trips good battery life on the guide